the amazing, the amazing dandelion. This is the dandelion plant, dandelion flower, dandelion plant. It um, comes back every year during the springtime and I harvest the leaves and the stems and the roots, dry them, grind them up into a powder and add them to my food. You can also eat the leaves raw in salads or by themselves. Dandelion is very healthy, very healthy plant that grows wild. And because I don't spray my garden, I don't spray my yard, I don't use any pesticides or anything. I harvest them in my yard and eat them. Dandelion helps to strengthen the kidney, the liver, has lots of antioxidants that help to boost our immune systems and help to fight free radicals. And they are free. If you can't harvest the ones in your yard, you can buy dandelion powder on so many websites. But I'm so fortunate that I can harvest the leaves and the roots and dry them and make them into a powder grind them in my bullet into a powder and include them in my diet very healthy stuff include dandelion in your diet very good for us and these are the dandelion flowers that I'll be including, that I'll be eating also. You can actually eat the dandelion flowers raw. You can just pick it and eat it, or you can dry it and grind it into a powder, add it to your food, your smoothie. And this is the dandelion root that I just dug up. I'm going to clean the dirt off wash it really good along with these leaves and stems and uh, dry it and grind it into a powder and include it in my diet like i said dandelion very beneficial for the liver and the kidney and the immune system so i wanted to let you know when i first started harvesting dandelion in my yard um, I did a little bit of research to see how I could make dandelion in roots into a powder. And one of the things that was recommended is to dry the root and then cut it up and blend it in a blender. But it didn't work for me. The roots become very, very hard when you dry it. So what I did was I... After I, I dig up the root, I would cut it into small pieces, wash it, of course, cut it into small pieces, dry the small pieces, and I would put it in my blender to blend into a powder. And that worked pretty well because when I tried blending the larger pieces, it would bend my blender blades. Just a little tip I wanted to share with you. Okay. Okay.